Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And one of the questions that we get all the time is, why am I losing connection? How can I improve my connection to my copter? And usually the short answer is change the channel. And that will typically get you into a situation where you're not getting any interference. Now, how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna click on the three bars there in the app. Let me get rid of that message there. I'm gonna to go to this HD symbol. This is gonna show me my current channels, where I'm at, and what's going on. Now, right now, I just have it on auto, so it's gonna try. So it's gonna try and pick the best channel. But if I wanna try and do a custom channel, I can simply click on custom. Now, I'll start seeing channels that are in use, ones that have a lot of uh, interference on them, I think I saw one here. Where I'm at right now, I really don't have a problem with it. So I'm not too concerned. Now, if you're on like 5.8 and it's just full, switch to 2.4. Now here, I have a lot of interference. So I probably don't wanna be on 2.4 here unless I pick one of these higher channels. But even then, you can see they are getting quite a bit of interference. So in this situation, I'm gonna to wanna to be on 5.8 there's really nothing here that's going to interfere with that. And I can pick a specific channel if I want to. If I, have, I see some that are busier than others, I'm gonna pick the one with the least amount of interference. Now, when I'm flying with friends or customers or things, and we have a handful of copters in the air, we're always going to set a custom channel so that they don't try and interfere with each other. We're gonna you know, separate them as best we can so that we don't have problems with as many copters in the air as possible. Now, another setting on here that you might wanna try is the transmission quality. So I have my transmission quality set to four megabits. I don't really need a high transmission quality. I'm not really doing anything with the cached footage other than maybe some quick edits just to send to some friends to say, hey, look where I was today before I go home and edit the high resolution footage from the copter. But if you're doing things like live broadcast for uh, a news channel or something, you're probably gonna wanna bump that up to get the highest quality footage coming down from your machine. Uh, some of the next settings here uh, have to do with HDMI output. Now, I have the HDMI output module on here, so these settings would actually work. Simultaneous image output to app and HDMI, that'll send it to both screens at the same time. Otherwise, if you have HDMI on, it may turn off the screen. Display OSD, that's the on-screen display. So if you're doing recording or you're broadcasting, you don't want that on. You want a clean signal going to the HDMI, so you'll have that turned off. I have it turned on because if I have a second monitor, it's for someone else to be watching what I'm doing, helping me do spotting and things. So I kind of want them to see some of the information that's on the screen. Uh, use metric units on HDMI output. Well, that's pretty straightforward. And then there's the frames per second. So I'm at 60 hertz, so about 60 frames per second coming in versus 50 hertz. So that's, a, again, something you can change to try and maximize your transmission quality. So those are our tips on getting the most signal performance out of your aircraft. Hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. Be sure and click like. If you have your own questions that you'd like to hear answered, put them in the comments below and we will answer them in an upcoming video. So make sure you hit subscribe and click on that bell icon and get notified every time we put out a new video. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.